I am a redneck slash white trash, and I went to a Michelin star restaurant in Rome, Italy, Europe. Now, if you don't know, Michelin stars are reserved for the most fine, outstanding restaurants in the world. In Italy, a place known for its tremendous food, I was very excited, and it turned out really bad. This is a 10-course tasting. I wanted everything on the menu. Didn't look at it, and that was my fault. The first course was this oyster. It had sherbet uh, and ice cream with foam on top, ice cream cream and oysters don't make much sense. Also with a $500 meal, I don't really understand how an oyster is that considering I've been to honky tonks that do oysters a dozen for five bucks on, you know, football nights, but whatever. Uh, the sherbet hit my back tooth, my crown, and uh, that hurt for at least four to five hours after. The oyster tastes like an oyster. I'm not really a big fan. Five out of 10. It also came with these breadsticks. That's a breadstick right there with these little crackers that were seasoned. Uh, one out of 10, they were regular saltines. Second course was bread. This was by far the best course of the night. Um, we have some regular bread, tasted like sunbeam, nothing too crazy, with some tomato basil bread maybe beside it that tasted all right there was no butter with it uh six out of ten now we start getting a little crazy we have fish with raspberry sauce this kind of reminded me of sushi fan of sushi and it was fine nothing was great about it it just tasted like you know fish with raspberry sauce but i can't complain you know five out of ten and this is when the rails come off of this restaurant uh this was from what he explained some kind of meat with tomato i don't know what meat it was and got God knows I don't want to know what kind of meat it was. With a uh, scampi gelatin. Scampi to me means shrimp. I said shrimp and he said no. But this thing was awful. Um, this was our first tasting where we could not finish the dish, which I found out in Italy. If you don't finish a dish, that's very, very upsetting to the people who are serving you. Um, I took one bite, me and my girlfriend both, who is a people pleaser. She wanted to be nice to everyone. This was nothing short of awful uh one out of ten the next dish let's keep it on the raw fish side this reminded me of sushi and i was kind of excited about it however the smell started to drift in my nose and this was a very fishy fish okay uh it smelled like fish, and when I tasted it, it tasted like fish. Now, not the taste you get from fish where it's good. This was a very abstract, fishy taste. Um, the little dots of sauce beside it did nothing for it. There was no hot sauce there. This was getting into the portion of where it was hard to swallow. It was really, really, really bad. Zero out of ten. We finally had some fried fish at the table. I got really excited here. We had some salad on top with a fried fish, you know, can't go wrong there and they went wrong there again the fish i don't know how to explain it like if y'all have been fishing and one of the fish dies at the beginning of the day and you kind of sit there with it all day and then your dad still ends up cooking it and it has that taste like the taste like the lake you were in that's what this reminded me of. There was, again, the sauce underneath had no real flavor to it. It was getting tough to eat. I finished mine two out of 10. This was also bad. This was a grilled fish with, I think it said, uh, a chip of seaweed with fish uh, sprinkled on top. It was like dried out fish. And again, this smelled awful. This was my first time getting the, the smell that really turned me. It smelled like a Panda Express garbage can. This was extremely tough to eat, but I didn't want to respect anyone. I saw how mad the guy had gotten before. We didn't finish our dish, so I really tried to down this. It was so, so bad. One out of 10. She's obviously not happy there. This was arguably my least favorite dish of the night that I tried. This was a ravioli with uh, broccoli inside and some sort of other vegetable and with dried and anchovies sprinkled on top along with actual anchovy. I hate anchovies more than anything in the world and the inside of whatever the broccoli mixture was, it was mixed with broccoli which I don't like and something else I really really don't like. This was so bad I gave it to my girlfriend and she couldn't finish it and we had to see the look of despair on this guy's face as we could not finish our dishes. And he kept pouring our wine, trying to be nice. The wine was tremendous, by the way. That was the only good thing here that night. And uh, again, I am sorry to you, my buddy. I love you, man. But this was a zero out of 10. This was awful.
This was probably the most disappointing dish of the night because it was carbonaro, my favorite kind of pasta. It was great. I saw it come out to the table beside us, before us. I got really excited because I love pasta. We're in Italy, you know? We're in, when in Rome, right? And this had a little piece of pork on top. He brought it over, he set it down, and then the disappointment happened when I smelt it. And he goes, this is carbonaro, a little bit of pork on top. Also, this carbonaro, you would have guessed it, was cooked in fish fat. And it smelled so damn bad. It smelled like when you go catfishing, the bait you use for catfish. This shit was beyond smelly. It smelled like the fishiest fish you've ever been around. It was, I took one bite. I almost vomited at the table. It was so bad. Neither of us could even get close to pass one bite. And we also had to leave it there. And the guy again, not happy. Negative two out of 10. This was another ravioli. Um, this was fine. This was, it tasted like uh, uh, gravy and biscuits from like Hardee's when they're kind of ending the breakfast shift a little bit. So they have a couple left over. It wasn't that great, but it was, it was, it was edible. You could eat it. Four out of 10. And this was the meal that made us leave the restaurant. Set it down. I, I saw a little piece of steak. I got excited. I mean, I've eaten sashimi before, so I've eaten some raw beef. Tilly said it was pigeon. So you can see the grilled pigeon there which doesn't look bad at all. And then you see, I think he said the heart of a pigeon or the liver of a pigeon completely raw. I couldn't do it, guys. I could not. I, I had seen pigeons the entire time there. I cannot process eating the raw liver of a pigeon. I don't want to know its life. I, that seems weird. I couldn't do it. And we unfortunately had to leave. As you can see, Laura was very upset from the night as she paid for this meal, which was 500, not including a tip. This was a tough day for both of us. I apologize to the waiter. He obviously loves the chef and he was very upset by our decision as well. We tipped him very good. This was just awful. I, I got excited. I'm a hillbilly, right? I'm, I'm, I'm from the sticks. I was going to eat at a Michelin star restaurant and it could not have went worse because I'm sorry, dude. I will not eat a pigeon liver. I won't eat pretty much any liver. I don't like gizzards that much, but I'm not eating a pigeon liver. So guys, me and Laura, we're down five hundred dollars at this point please come see me on tour guys you know the, the food of the comedy clubs is tremendous it's chicken fingers french fries the stuff you love come see me on tour savannah georgia going to jacksonville florida we got las vegas portland salt lake